Hi folks, I've been procrastinating on this video for a while, but then the other day I got food poisoning. See, I'm on a trip to Bali right now. It was meant to be a vacation slash work trip, but it ended up being mostly a vacation trip. And you just cannot trust that food and drink is safe to eat and drink here. It probably also didn't help that I've been rinsing my toothbrush with tap water, so I stopped doing that now. But who knows, maybe it was just a worker in a restaurant who didn't wash their hands properly or something. Anyway, point being, I'll spare you the details of the food poisoning, but after I recovered a little bit, I just felt so happy being able to do things again that suddenly recording this video seemed really fun and I was just grateful to be able to do it. So, a little bit of a backstory. I'm in Bali right now really for three reasons. I wanted to relax, I wanted to meet some cool new people, and I wanted to do a little strategizing about the future direction of my business and my YouTube channel. I ended up not really relaxing that much. It's been a really fun trip and I've met amazing new people. It's just been tiring rather than relaxing, which is okay. I've been doing a lot of surfing, some scuba diving. Surfing, by the way, for those of you who have not done this, is actually really exhausting if you're new to it. Um, pretty cool though, pretty cool though. I'm pretty sure I'll be taking more surf lessons in the future. So I did meet the cool new people and I have spent some time thinking about the direction of my business and my YouTube channel. That's why I'm recording this video because I wanted to share that with you right now. So in the past four years or so, I've made videos on a bunch of topics. At first, it was about specific apps only like OmniFocus and later on Things 3 and more recently, Apple Notes. In fact, one of the reasons I came to Bali is because I recently released a whole course on Apple Notes and that kind of took a lot out of me. So I really felt like I needed to get away from home for a while. Anyway, eventually I started making videos about more broad topics such as task management in general, not just with those specific apps, but also productivity more broadly with the occasional other video sprinkled into my channel. But I found that I've said a lot that I wanted to say on those topics. I would like to make videos about an even broader range of topics. Some things I'm interested in are personal development, right? constant learning and improvement, learning how to be a better person, a more ethical person, about how we can treat other people, animals, and the planet better, and also just some really practical topics that I feel like as I'm learning, it would just be a shame not to talk about them, whether that is a new skincare routine that I learned, or whether it's, you know, I might soon be buying a house more than that in a little bit, how is that process gonna go, or how I learned to invest my money to have a little nest egg for retirement, even though retirement is kind of a weird concept, maybe I should do a video on that at some point as well. Um, but there's been a few challenges for me in running my business and in doing my YouTube channel specifically. So one of those challenges is that I've been doing almost everything myself up until this point. And initially when I started this business, that was fantastic. I had worked as a corporate consultant. I had completely burned out from that job. And a lot of the reasons for the burnout is that other people were constantly making demands on my time. And I didn't really want to meet those demands, but I had to, that was kind of the deal of having that job. And but so by starting my own business by myself, I was in a position where I was able to do everything, at, you know, my way and at my own pace. And that worked great for a while. And that allowed me to build a successful business and I make a good amount of money. I'm really grateful you know, to have this YouTube channel, which as I'm recording this right now is about 33,000 subscribers, which feels like a great number, even though I'd like it to be a lot bigger, doesn't matter. Um, anyway, lately it started to feel quite lonely to run my business. You know, during COVID times when there was two years of mostly everybody being at home, I didn't really feel this as much because I figured everybody is at home. I've been working from home for years. It's fine. I can do it. But then once the pandemic sort of receded, even though I know it's still lingering in places, um, it's really, you know, dawned on me that I need to make my work a lot more social. It's often just me sitting in my home office by myself. I'm super grateful I have that home office, but you know, coming up with video ideas myself, writing up the outline myself, filming, editing, uploading, making the thumbnail publishing, you know, letting people know about my video all by myself. And I feel like there's just like a lack of ideas because I'm not engaging with other people enough. And even though my girlfriend's also a YouTuber and we both work from home, you know, even between the two of us, it sometimes feels like we kind of exhausted all new ideas. And it's not just about ideas. It's also just that somehow things are harder when I try to do them by myself. And when I work with other people, I notice that I feel more confident. It's easier to create things. I have a lot less self-doubt. 
Um, so that's one challenge that I've been running into. I also feel like I'm kind of not as good at filming or as at editing videos as I would like to be or as other people are. And so it might be good to start involving some other people in my business is what I'm trying to say. Um, I've tried to work with video editors before, haven't really found one that I like. That's sort of a constant thing for me. I'll probably be putting more effort into that again soon. And I might even like to work with a videographer, like literally someone to follow me around. I don't, maybe not follow around, but someone to, you know, meet me somewhere and like film me as I'm doing this or different kinds of videos. Um, I think that'll allow me to create better videos that are more engaging for you to watch on a wider range of topics and also more often, you know, publishing videos more often. And I think it will also just make things so much easier for me and allow me to have way more fun. It's hard for me to overstate how much of an issue this has been. You know, I'm all about productivity and, and productivity techniques and goal setting and translating your goals into action steps. And I feel like I've been really good at those things. But despite those things, I've been getting quite stuck recently precisely because I've been trying to do too much by myself rather than with other people. And having been here in Bali and having spent more time with people, I realized just how much better it feels to create things together. So a real big focus for me for the coming months and into next year, talk about that in a second, um, why it's gonna be into next year, is to make my work more social so that I can have more fun, so that I can create better videos on a wider range of topics and deliver more value to you all as well, um, but also make some, you know, advocate for certain changes in the world that I would like to see. So getting outside of the topics purely of task management productivity, but into a, a broader range of development topics. So all of these challenges are getting compounded a little bit by the fact that my girlfriend and I are getting kicked out of our apartment. And I wanna tell you about this because it is so, dumb. So we live in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Now we have a one year lease on our current apartment and we moved in at the start of this year, at the start of 2020. And the way it works in the Netherlands is you can have a temporary rental contract for let's say one year like we do. But if there's any kind of renewal of the rental contract, it automatically becomes a contract for an indefinite period of time that the landlord can pretty much never cancel unless you're like the world's worst renter, which we are not, we are good renters. You know, we always pay our rent on time and we don't disturb people, you know? Um, and so this is really frustrating because our landlord does not want to renew our contract for an indefinite period of time. He'd actually be happy to give us another year in our current apartment and we'd be happy taking another contract for one year, but that's literally not allowed by law. This is incredibly frustrating. Dutch law is really, really frustrating on this uh, part. And you know, Dutch labor law actually has some similar measures which are supposed to pretend you as a renter or as a worker, but in reality just end up hurting a lot of people, including us in this case. So we are looking for a new home to move into at the start of the new year. We might rent again, but actually because of this, we're kind of thinking we should really explore buying a home, especially because you know our home is a place that we do our work from as well. Like I built my own YouTube studio this year. I'm gonna have to tear that down and build a new one in a new place. So it'd be nice if I only had to do that once more for the foreseeable future. So as I'm embarking on this journey of making my work more social, right? Involving other people more, and maybe hiring some people, building a team, doing more collaborations. That all might proceed not quite as quickly as I'd want to because I also have to figure out the housing situation, you know, either renting a new home or buying a new one or maybe temporarily renting one and then buying one that we can move into. So, oh, I also wanted to mention, I'm also looking for a way to involve you more in this social experience that I wanna create for myself as I do work, right? So whether that is setting up some kind of community, that's definitely something that I'm thinking about or some other way, I don't know yet, but I wanted you to know that because I'm kind of getting tired of just sitting in front of a camera, talking to the camera, sharing things that I know. That's worked very well for me for a couple of years, but hey, I'm kind of reaching, you know, the end of how much good content I can produce in that way. Anyway, now you know what's been going on with me, my life, and what plans I have for this channel and for my business. Let me know what you think of all of it. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.